Welcome back, all you fabricated flashbacks to the super, not funny show, Supercast. The Supercast where we talk about all things superhero in our pop culture media. That's movies, TV shows, video games. Uh, we talk about the news, a little speculation, all that good nerdy stuff. I am Mo De Poupe, your resident fabricant and comic extraordinaire on all things pop culture. Joined by the anime expert, video game designer, lover of all things superhero, my good friend Lottie. Lottie, what's going on, man? Nothing much, man. Enjoyed my little break. Oh, was, yeah. Even though it was one day, I yeah, did enjoy that, it. That's right. It is uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, uh, the holiday here in America. So uh, happy that day for y'all of you who got your, got your day off. If, unlike me, me you, who had to work today. Uh, <laughs> everyone who got the day <laughs> off, good for you. Uh, and so, you know, celebrate that uh, the great man. And maybe, I don't know actually read up on what he was actually about instead of uh the sound bite sound uh clips that they sanitize and put into our history books to make you think that you know a certain way about the man so that's a political bit of politics just because i've been reading stupid hot takes on twitter today about <laughs> about the uh the holiday so anyway that's not what we're here to talk about uh we are talking about we're you know we're a couple nerds talking about superhero things uh and lottie you know what i want to tell you i wanted to say that uh i feel like a superhero today mm-hmm. uh, i feel like a superhero because like uh any good superhero i stand in the breach and take hits uh for people who aren't able to and by that i mean i watched Velma episodes one and two and mm-hmm. it was a battle let me just say it was a battle uh-huh. And, and you know, I'm like Batman after having to go through Arkham Asylum. You know, <laughs> I've, I'm feeling like that right now. So uh, anyway, I reviewed it. If y'all want to know what I think about film of the series, get on, get on, on the channel and check it out. But uh, that was dedication. So, y'all should definitely look so, at it. Yeah, that I'm, was dedication. I'm, I'm just gonna say, not all heroes uh, wear capes. So. <laughs> And Lottie, what you what have you been watching, man? Before we get to the the main topics, what have you been watching? Uh, I um uh, I watch Bullet Train. Good nice. movie. That's a great Bullet movie. movie. Good <laughs> movie. Um, I watch this really dumb uh, Jamie Fox movie on Netflix about him hunting vampires. Oh, <laughs> I love that movie. I don't care what anybody says. No, it was dumb, day, but I enjoyed day, it. What's it, it called? Was just, it's called Day Shift. It's good. Yeah, like Day that. Shift. <laughs> it was dumb, but I enjoyed it. I like, it I was like dumb, it. but I enjoyed it. Um, of course, I watched the uh, The Last of Us. Nice. Yeah. Um, besides that. I can't. I believe that's it. I mean, I watched Sonic Prime, which was I enjoyed. By the way, very very underrated show. I highly recommend it. And and you said something about Vinland Saga, right? Oh yeah, Vinland Saga. Of course, Vinland Saga season two is out. Starting off a little slow, but hey, Vinland Saga started off slow, but then it started popping off. So you know, I'm being patient. Some people are going like this. Vinland Saga, and I'm like, guys, y'all forgot the first three episodes started like this with the first season. Just give it time. Mm-hmm. Just give it time. Be patient. Anime fans, they're they're worse yeah. than superhero fans. <laughs> it, yeah. It, let's speaking of, let's bring that this this back around to to the super cast and the superhero stuff. Yes, we're going to be talking. Uh, it's going to be an all news uh, thing to this week. We're on a we're a bit of a, a lull between uh, things, but we got in a month. Lottie, I, I bought the tickets uh, for the opening day for um, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So I'm super excited for that. But uh, we're in a lull, so, uh, but we do have a few uh, items of news to talk about. So uh, they are uh, Miss Marvel. Yes, <laughs> Miss Marvel, my favorite uh, Marvel show la- uh, thing last year, gets uh, an award uh, from Rotten Tomatoes. What's that all about? We're going to talk about the Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur uh, trailer. Uh, something about the air cut. We're going to revisit that. Uh, what what could be going on with that movie? Uh, a little quick uh, update for on Jer- uh, Jeremy Renner. Uh, Matt Reeves talks about uh, wh- how the Penguin and uh, the Penguin show is going to set up the next Batman. 
And then just a little bit of rumor talk about uh, Jason Momoa, uh, where he could be landing in the superhero world. So, like I said, short week, uh, but we're going to get the most out of it. So, Lottie, uh, strapped in. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Well, let's get to it, man. Um, I love Miss Marvel. I, 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 you know, I make no bones about it. I think it's one of the best things that Marvel's done, and uh, especially in Phase Four, it's definitely one of the top things. And um, this Rotten Tomatoes uh, gave it an award. It, it gives out awards uh, at the end of every year, the Golden Tomatoes, and these are basically about the the best reviewed shows on um, and T and movies and whatever uh, that that are on its service. So let real quick. So let's let's understand. Rotten Tomatoes is a little bullshit. Can we can we agree on that? It's a, yeah. It's a little like it's it's a it's bullshit in in the sense of like yes, you know, if something's certified fresh, sure, that means that the you know a certain number of people, a certain number of you know verified reviewers on their service said, yeah, I liked it. Right? It's it's a it's a thumbs up or thumbs down situation. This person could be 51% yay and 49% nay, and that's counted as a thumbs up. So Rotten Tomatoes, it's a little bullshit, but whatever. Uh, generally speaking, Rotten Tomatoes is decently good at predicting whether or not something's worth a damn. And so uh, Miss Marvel's surprise was the best-reviewed superhero movie, uh, sorry, superhero TV show of 2022. So it, in terms of its Rotten Tomatoes score, out of all the superhero TV shows that came out last year, it was the highest uh, rated. So, I to it I say yay because I love the show, but it kind of ca- it kind of caused people a little bit of butt hurt, a little bit of controversy, a little groaning and complaining about stuff. Like I mean, because that's basically what Rotten Tomatoes is all about: causing motherfuckers to complain about stuff. Uh, so Lottie, I know you, you don't agree with this because I, I know what your favorite superhero TV show is of, of 2022. But I mean, there's the truth is, is that it had more, it had a higher Rotten Tomato score than any other TV show. Uh, so you hear about this. What's your, what are your thoughts? I mean, like I said, it's. It's, it's a good show. It's definitely a good show. And I feel like I understand why it won the award because it went into certain things that I feel like it is needed in this community, you know, to show that superheroes could be of a different religion and of culture. So I can understand it. I said, I can understand it being well, you know, well received. Me, I'm just not a fan of team stuff like it's just you know some people when they hear me say oh so you think the show sucks i'm like no i'm not saying the show sucks i'm just not a fan of teen stuff that's no, just yeah in, in the rotten tomato world you would still be a thumbs up like you yeah would i be still counting, give it a thumbs you'd be, up you'd be counting the thumbs up so yeah yeah but i know your favorite was peacemaker last year right oh yeah oh yeah peace at the house of pain you know? <laughs> <laughs> so but that here's my my thing about this is that you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of grumbling. Like, no way, that wasn't. That, you know, this is. You know, as the kids say, this is cap. I don't, I'm pretty sure someone said that, or you know, they wanted to point out other things. And I think that you know, honestly, I think that's totally fair, because again, it's all subjective or whatever. But you know, the the proof is in the numbers. They they have reviews for everything, and that you know, they counted them all up, and it it's clear that that Miss Marvel won. Which isn't to say it was the best thing, that they said it was the best thing. They're not saying it's the best superhero TV show. They're not saying uh, that it's, you know, better in, than, you know, the boys or whatever. Nothing like that. Just that out of the reviewers, that's what it's saying. So I would say congratulations to Miss Marvel. And also, you know, if something wins an award over something you like, that doesn't mean the thing you like has been invalidated. It's oh, yeah. God, my God, I, I, you know, I, I enjoy being a, a comic book nerd and everything like that, but we have got to get over that. That this one, you know, Miss Marvel winning doesn't mean that Peacemaker is a loser, right? It's that's crazy. Like, Lottie, I mean, I can understand. Get, we gotta get over that. I mean, let's just be honest. Let's 
it's, you can understand why Peacemaker and the boys didn't get is highly rated. There was some stuff in that show that has left some people with some scars, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's just especially uh, uh, the boys. Uh, you know, I'm just going to be honest. I could see it. <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, I think that people should worry less about the rotten to me and think more about the audience score, the cinema score, the audience score. Because that's where it kind of is playing out where the critics are, are, you know, I'm not saying they don't have similar taste to everybody else, but they are, you know, they see a lot more things. So they're more jaded. They're a little more critical. The audience yeah. score is where you really want to look at. That's where, you know, and Peacemaker was was huge on the, in the audience. Uh, and so was Miss Marvel, too. So I think all around, it's, this is just, a, you know, again, what what is to me, it also kind of underscores that last year was really strong for superhero uh, TV, especially like kind of the more prestige things, the things that were, you know, eight episodes, but, you know, like Peacemaker and the Boys and Sandman. It was re- These are all really high-quality shows, and it's, it's no mark against them for Miss Marvel to have gotten like this award because they were still all excellent. So... Uh, well, either way, uh, well, good on Miss Marvel. It's, it's my favorite shows. I hope they announce a second season sometime soon. Uh, we'll let you guys know m- more about that uh, when we learn something. Uh, Lottie, let's stay, stay with the Marvel train. I, you know, I said, <laughs> I told you this last year. I was highly anticipating this. Like, I'm super excited about this. Uh, and I will say... It's, I'm not saying it's my most anticipated Marvel thing this year, but it is probably in my top three for the year, and that's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. And I don't give a damn what y'all say about me. If you want to laugh, point, whatever. Yeah, it's a kid's show coming out for Disney uh, and coming on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, it's definitely you know, you know, targeted at a certain demographic. I don't give a damn. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is my jam when it was a comic. And I've liked the, you know, the teasers we've gotten so far. And so they dropped a trailer. And uh, before I get my thoughts, Lottie, you got a, you got a chance to look at this trailer. And you again, you don't really know anything about Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. So not knowing anything and just looking at this trailer, what do you think? Uh, I'm happy that this exists. I really am. I, I, I'm just a little upset with some fans that... Because I'm seeing this too. They're like, oh, this is for kids. Guys, oh my God. Do y'all not remember when you were in the 90s? When you were a kid in the 90s? Do you not remember how Spider Man and. Oh, jeez. It wasn't I Static just, Shock for kids. Static Shock. I just. Was it Batman the so, Animated Series for kids? I just swear, man. Some of these guys, like, it's 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 stupidity. Or it's even better, wasn't Ben 10 a very original? Wasn't it the original, like, the start of it for kids? Yeah, it was a kid show. That's what I'm saying. That's what. It, it's so dumb. If you want your kids, do you want your kids to watch The Boys? Do you want your kids to watch Harley <laughs> I, Quinn? I will say. Do you want your kids to watch Invincible? As, as, as a father. Of, of a teenager, nah. Exactly. <laughs> no. It's so stupid. Like it, it. It's like I like I'm enjoying the hell out of it's because to be honest with you, I'm looking at it now. It doesn't look like something that Disney made. You know what it looks like? It looks like Sony made this because it has that Miles Morales uh, art style. And Sony recently made a movie on Netflix called Intergalactic. By the way, I really recommend. It's a really good movie with the same type of art style. Like it's, it's got a little bit of Teen Titans go in it too. Yeah, it's, it's got a bit it, of that. And uh, I like I like that this exists. I mean, you especially. I was just talking about this with my friend, uh, my friend Anthony. Man, we talked about how I grew up in a day and age when black cartoons were very prevalent. Now there's like one, and it's like on the verge of being canceled because of fucking Zavloff, um, Craig of the <laughs> Creek. And this stuff, sh- we need, I, I mean, I don't give a damn what anybody says. Oh, it was for everybody. No, there's sometimes you need cartoons that were made for us, made for 
people of uh, of our color of or blacks. Like I'm happy that this exists, and I'm happy that it's getting, um, it's getting the uh, notoriety. It is actually being pushed. Like I actually, I'm hoping that this because it seems like Disney just abandoned uh, 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 Proud Family. Just like it seems like they just abandoned Proud Family, the new Proud Family. Well, I mean, it did go straight to Disney Plus, and that's that's a place where things go to sort of languish <laughs> if it's not a high profile thing. Yeah, uh, I I'll tell you what, and and I'm so happy. I, honestly, I'm really happy that you 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 responded so well to this because I you know I've been you know I've been talking this up for like over a year now, right? I've been talking it up yeah. to you so much for over a year now, and it is basically exactly everything I wanted and, and, and then some. Uh, it, I love the animation. The animation is, is just great. We, we had watched that little teaser uh, where she was fighting somebody, but this to getting the actual look at it, there's a little Dexter's Laboratory in, in it too. I love that. I love that reference uh, when, when her doing her laboratory thing. Devil Dinosaur looks like cool as hell. She looks cool. There's great music in this thing. Like that Moon Girl Magic song is is pretty great. And I've got a, I'm, I was saying on Twitter, I was like, well, I'm going to use the girl or uh, I'm not a, a girl at all. And I'm going to use Moon Girl Magic as a catchphrase anyway, because it just is cool when she says it. Like, yeah, her the little, you know, her friend, kind of like her, her sidekick or whatever, helping her out. She looks like she's going to be super cool. All the villains. giving me static shock vibes. This is giving I, me like legit static shock I, I, vibes. I'm gonna. I think that I think this show probably owes a little bit more to is it Gendy Tartakovsky and his whole, uh, you know, his uh, he did Powerpuff Girls, right? So I hit like a little bit. Oh, Gendy, yeah, yeah, a little Powerpuff Girls, a little Dexter's Laboratory. Like the bad guys look super stylized and and like real eye pleasing, very catchy. You know, they look like bad guys you're going to remember. Um, and it's every and, you know, uh, you know, Moon Girl herself, Lunella, she not not she's just not just cute, but she looks like she's actually like very, you know, capable. She looks super capable and very expressive. So, you know, I I know who this is aimed at. It isn't me. And I don't give a damn because I'm on, I'm on this day one. And not only am I on a day one, I'm going to be reviewing that shit for the channel because that's what I want to do. Because Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, it's a great comic book, and I'm convinced it's going to be a great uh, cartoon. And I'm, I, in some way, get her into the MCU. No, actually, never get her in the MCU. No, they're, no. They're just going to, they're just going to, you know, Zack Snyder her up, and I don't want that shit. I want no, her. Th- I, unless, leave her separate. You know, the only way I want her to show up in the MCU is if she shows up in Miss Marvel. If that's if she shows up in Miss Marvel, we're good. I'd rather <laughs> see her with uh, Miles Morales, actually. That would be cool too, but that's not you know the MCU. Uh, or oh, if she shows up in Young Avengers, I'm I'm dead. <laughs> if she shows up in Young Avengers, I. Call call me deceased because I I will not believe that that's that's something that happened. So <laughs> anyway, you guys go check out that trailer. It's pretty great. It, this is uh, coming out next uh, next month. I think uh, I want to say the sixteenth, but I could be wrong about that. But it's it is definitely coming uh, like in the middle of uh, next month. So I cannot wait. Going to be reviewing that. So you guys check that out and uh, check back with us when that uh, drops. Uh, Lottie, some you know last week we were talking about. Snyder Cut stuff not dying. So let's talk about something else that's uh, like uh, that seems to have the cordyceps uh, infection and and has risen again. Continues if you don't if you don't watch the Last of Us last night, <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Cordyceps. It's something that's that's reviving, uh, reviving yeah. something. Anyway, uh, the Ayer Cut. Remember we were talking about like oh, no. Jesus. Remember, remember we were talking oh. about saying no, absolutely not. No, get the hell out of here. We don't need it. Well, here's a rumor. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> One of those things that go around on the internet that probably aren't true, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Um, there's a rumor because of a Twitter exchange between David Ayer and 
James Gunn. A, court, a very nice and friendly one. Like they actually know and like each other. It may, it's starting to get people thinking, oh shit, we might get an air. You know, they're thinking about doing an air. They're thinking about doing an air. What? The, I, why? You know what? There's there's a several reasons why this is no. There's a no to this. One of the biggest reasons is money. Who the who has the money to do this? Unless this shit is like in a can somewhere and just needs to be, you know, screened, which I don't believe because there's a lot of post production that's involved in superhero things. Why would they spend the money? They've already done this. We've played this game before, right? Do you remember we remember HBO Max played this game? Uh, DC and Warner Brothers played this game already with the Snyder Cut. And Lottie, recall for me, if you will, how much money did the Snyder Cut make? How much did it make? Uh, uh, <laughs> from what I know, almost nothing. And, and you know, they, the only money they they ever actually made from that that movie was because they put it out on Blu-ray and 4K. That's it. If you have to rely on 4K and Blu-ray sales to get any money back from this, you basically have no fucking business model. So they made, let's just call it zero dollars from the Snyder Cut. What is the incentive, Lottie? Tell, help me out. Make this make sense. Make it make sense to me. How do they make money on the air cut? I don't know, man. I'm just... These guys just won't die. Why won't you die? Like, they just... They they just come back from the ashes. Oh, the, the air cut. The Snyder cut to Netflix. Oh, my God. It's just... Let it go, guys. It's dead and buried. Ayers might come back on to do a movie, but you're not going to... That movie... The movie's about to be 10 years old soon. In about, because that movie came out, what, 2016? Uh, just not, when did it? You know what? When the hell did that come out? That's a good That question. movie came out like 2015 or 2016. It's about to be 10 years old. I, I think the, the thing is, people got to understand that, that, you know, movies don't fucking grow on trees. These extra, yeah. you know, these director, 2016. Yeah, these director cuts don't just like magically appear you know what i'm saying like why why would they spend the money on that exactly that's the that's the the one question you have to answer is what's the return on it because remember this isn't the old regime this is david zaslav who's axing shit left and right he's cutting things left he's he's cutting things that have money has been spent on that are that's in the can done and ready to go and not releasing them or you know the stuff that they they've spent actual money on, he's he's canning it for for tax purposes, right? This thing yeah. isn't even been worked on, to my knowledge. It's, now may, maybe I'm wrong. Again, maybe it's done in the can somewhere, and they just gotta you know flip a switch and put it on the HBO Max. Uh, but again, even if that's true, what money do they make off of that? Because I'll tell you one. Th I tell you what. They're gonna still have to pay money, even if it's complete, and just needs to be, you know, uploaded to the server. They will still have to pay David Ayer money, because this is a different version of that movie than the one he did originally. It's a director's yep. cut. It's a different cut. I guarantee you, there's a there's a contract that says he's got to get paid, and I bet you that there's a contract uh, with a bunch of the stars, and like Will Smith and Margot Robbie, that they got to get paid because it's a different version of the movie with more footage. Yeah. So what there's zero financial incentive to do it and zero will to do it because David Zaslav is like this shit needs to make money not lose money. We're sick of that shit. We want we want to actually make money off of DC for a change. And also, remember, they just took a big ass bath on uh, uh you know, on Black Adam. Yeah. Oh, and also they're about to unveil a slate of movies and a new direction of DC that Suicide Squad is a part of the old DC. Make it make sense to me. That's I'm just I'm just saying. 
there's all these reasons against it. Lay the case out for why why this is a worthwhile investment. I understand James Gunn and David Ayer may be friends, cordial. They you know they you know give attaboys on Twitter. That's cool. That's professionalism and everything like that. That's not a good it, that you you've taken a lo- far far leap, my friends. If you take them being nice to each other on Twitter to mean oh they're definitely making the air cut. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's no, not the air cut people aren't as crazy as the Snyder stands, but the Snyder stands are part of that shit. So it's like, stop, stop. Get, as they say, get help. Get help. <laughs> or touch grass. Go outside and just get away, get away from it for a while because it, it's you're you are y'all are spinning, y'all are spinning the, the weirdest, you know theories and and they don't they're not in line with reality so no. anyway uh <laughs> in the unlikely event there is some news on this we'll, we will let you guys know uh really quick i just i just want to do a real quick on our on our uh esteemed hawkeye jeremy renner um who's still in the hospital to my understanding but he is recovering um uh right now there was a. I just want to talk about this rumor. I don't think it's true, but there's this rumor uh, <clears throat> that there. I heard that. I don't know if you saw this, Lottie. That people are saying that uh, some insider or whatever talking about they're worried that he might not be able to walk again, or or might even lose his leg over this thing. I've seen no confirmation of this in in any headlines or whatever. But Lottie, I just thought let's let's talk about that. What you know? What does that mean for us as fans of Hawkeye if this were to happen? First, this is what I'm going to say first, and I've just told people this who like, and I just want to get it out there. Honestly, let's just be happy that he's alive. You know what I mean? Like if, like I was telling some people who were talking to me about this, like, listen, that is the worst. That is the least. Like, I'm sure that man would sacrifice both legs for his life. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm going to be honest. I even told people, I, after I heard the accident, I, I tell anybody, I doubt he does any type of serious, like, you know, action roles ever again. Like, just, just in general, because even if he can get back to it, I mean, the man almost lost his life. It's one of those things that you just might go like and be like, you know what? I almost lost my life. Let me enjoy the rest. The rest. Let me enjoy the life that I have. You know what I mean? Makes you see differently. Mm -hmm. But it just, I think they're just going to retire Hawkeye's character. It's just at this, because I I don't see Jeremy Renner being an an actor in any type of action movie at all. Like I just have one, I have no confidence that it will it will even if he could make a full recovery i just don't see it so it's like i feel like marvel is going to have to make another you know unfortunate uh decision with a character that they didn't want to you know they're going to have to figure out how they're going to move on from his character and it will and it will actually do well in the in the mcu you know well, the good thing is, is that, in a sense, um, you know, the Hawkeye show was supposed to be at least the start of the passing of the torch, you know, between from, uh, you know, from Clint uh, to Kate. And so mm-hmm. this, you know, in this capacity, because I'm convinced, like, I don't I don't buy this whole not going to be able to walk, not, you know, but it, let's. Let's say in the worst case scenario, yeah, either he loses a leg or he can't walk correctly or or, or at all for a while. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty sure they can write that into the because there have been situations where, you know, you know, Batman was paralyzed for a while and, you know, back broken and stuff. People have been crippled or, you know, whatever. <clears throat> so I don't think it will be all that hard to, you know, do that. Or to just do a Paul Walker, not you know, rest God rest soul, where they just say he's you know he's just 
you know, he's on vacation or he's looking after the kids or because Jeremy Renner's still here, uh, he could just be on a Zoom call or something and be like, hey, <clears throat> you know, I heard you were in a bit of trouble. Do you need me to come? You need me to come, uh, you know, lend a hand? And she's like, no, I got this. It's like, I got to do this on my own. And there you go. He's still in Hawkeye, still running around, right? Yeah, just don't kill him off. But he's just he's don't not, kill him off. I mean, he's he's <laughs> yeah. he's not like you could because again, he you, know, you can just zoom call. They do that all the time in movies nowadays, and you just see him on there. He's like, hey, you know, I, uh, I I'll help you if you want. No, I I got this. You know, I gotta I gotta be able to stand on my own. All right, well, you know, if you need me, and then bam, he's at the farm. He's perfectly fine. Hawkeye is cool, but he trusts her. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else, right? Just a cameo. I I am con I mean, I'm convinced that this, this isn't an insurmountable problem. <clears throat> and and again, you're right. It is I mean, Jeremy Renner recovering, that's what's important. You know, getting back on his feet. That's what's actually important. Um, yeah, you know, but you know, we're always, you know, you know, comics fans, we're always uh, thinking about these things. And um I think that, you know, if he wants to still act, he can, but just in a different capacity, you know, <clears throat> he, yeah. you know, how, however that plays itself out, I, Jeremy Renner is a good actor, so I'm not, not worried about if he wants to act, getting to act, uh, but I, I'm, I'm with you, I, I think, unless he's really, you know, wanting to do the, the hard work of getting back to 100%, and I don't even mean 100% in terms of regular functioning body, but like being able to be an action movie, uh, you know, person. I'm, you know, maybe that is it for him. Maybe he does retire from that, you know, stuff like that. He just does, you know, regular character acting that doesn't require all that physicality. So, yeah. But either way, we do re wish Jeremy Renner a, a, a re speedy recovery. Uh, full recovery, if at all possible, but as close to full recovery uh, as he can get. And it sounds to me like on all of the, all the news and everything that he's, you know, he's a fighter and he's really, you know, working hard to get back. So uh, hopefully we'll be having some good news about that. We'll let you guys know uh, when we hear more. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about. Finally, we're going to talk about DC. Well, we're going to talk about DC in a positive light. How about that? <laughs> I know it seems like we're always. You know, ducking on them. but it's, it's not we're not we're very excited for the the next phase of dc uh but there's still that whole little thing about the batman which you know we both really like that movie it's it was really good like it Bat, oh, the yeah. batman was was pr pretty great and we also found out that they were making a penguin spinoff which i'm like hell yeah because colin farrell was was you know phenomenal He's, he's great in a little bit. We got to see the penguin. He's really great. Um, <clears throat> but even better news, Matt Reeves said that the penguin show uh, is going to actually lead up or set up uh, the Batman part two. Which I'm like, for, well, I mean, I'm not terribly I'm, Are you surprised by that? I'm not terribly surprised by that. No. But it does. It, it does make me excited for this Penguin show. Like, I already was. You know, I already was excited for it. It makes me even more excited because Matt Reeves, one thing I think that the Batman kind of showcased to me, like, I've seen a couple of his other movies too, but what this really showcased to me is kind of the meticulous plotting that he, he goes about. Like, I mean, show me a plot... I mean, may, there probably is a, a you know a plot hole somewhere in the Batman, but I thought it was pretty well crafted and a pretty well crafted and executed plot that doesn't really have any any you know holes or, or weak points or whatever. And good characterization set up this Penguin show, right? And so I'm very confident that this Penguin show is going to be like a whole lot of of meat. You know, not a lot of filler, a lot of meat that's going to lead us into more of this, you know, the Batman universe. So, Lottie, uh, what do you think about this this revelation from Matt Reeves himself that, you know, maybe, oh, for us definitely, but for anyone who liked the Batman movie, this, you know, this Penguin show is probably going to be must-see TV. Mm. 
I'm sorry, I could have. I had to do it. Um, yeah, man, I'm I'm excited for this. I mean, we all even we already all talked about it. Like, uh, the Batman exceeded my expectations. I was just like, Ugh, another Batman movie. And I was like, whoa, another Batman movie. You know, so <laughs> like, I'm excited to see what. Because you, you know, a lot of things that that is that gets overlooked. Because sometimes I feel like grounded Batman, in my opinion, is more entertaining than over the top. The over the top Batman, the Batman that people like, because people like people like Batfleck, because he's the over the top Batman, the one with the big explosions, fighting aliens and throwing boomerangs at godlike beings. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> For some reason, they like that Batman, but they ignore. But they like they like the they like the. Uh, it's like Martha. How do you know that? <laughs> how do you know that name? <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the Batman that they like, and I understand. But listen, they, the the grounded Batman and learning about the underbelly of because here's the thing that it's just you know I've listened to like a YouTuber even talk about it that the city of Gotham has been ignored too much in my opinion in dc movies because they just they want to go i mean and just batman because they just want to go over the top with stuff L let's talk about the gangs like like i said like i was shocked that they're talking about falcone because you know i'm a big batman fan. i'm like god they, they're talking about falcone what oh so so i was like okay uh, we're definitely gonna get the uh the owls the court of owls and stuff and i'm like yes this is stuff and i believe this is what the penguin is going to go in because he takes over for Falcon. So he's going to start hearing about like the gangs that Falcon was has been dealing with that he didn't have to deal with. And he's like he's probably going to be like, "Damn, I didn't realize it was like this, you know what I mean?" So I'm interested. I am I am I am locked in. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that there was some indication that the Court of Owls might be on the table for the Batman 2 anyway. So I, th I mean, I think your speculation is probably right on the money, um, mm -hmm. because that's I mean, there's a natural for it's e that or hush. Like there are certain characters that are so grounded, they don't have superpowers. They're just like really smart and got a lot of muscle and, and a lot of planning. Uh, and uh, like hush would be actually be a really good, uh, uh, you know, way to go. Or I mean. God knows it could be Scarecrow or whatever, but Court of Owls I think is is obvious. I, I think I don't understand why it's taken DC so long to try to get to that because that's easily one of the most popular. You know what? Forget that. The most popular Batman storyline in the last twenty years, I would say. <clears throat> so the fact that they have been taking their time getting to it is weird to me, but I think Matt Reeves could be the one to, to handle. So thank we'll God. See. Yes, yeah. we gonna see. Uh, but I, we're definitely gonna be checking out that that thing. I think I think it's this year. I hope it's this year. So we're we're gonna see. I'll, we'll let you guys know uh, more about it when we uh, when we get more news. Uh, and finally, we're gonna end on a little bit of a rumor talk. Um, <clears throat> we all know Jason Momoa. Uh, I don't if you get you know he's he plays a, a certain uh, person that I don't has, I don't has, know who that guy is. He has a <laughs> sexual relation. He plays a certain character that is rumored to have sexual relations uh, with fish. Uh, talks uh, to fish. <clears throat> he rides on a seahorse. Uh, <laughs> uh, his his girlfriend likes to defecate in bread in bed. That's <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's uh, we're talking about Jason Momoa and, and his uh, turn as Aquaman. But as we all know, Aquaman 2 is going to be the, the last uh, ride for that, that particular version of the character. And so the natural question is, well, where is Jason Momoa going to go? Where, you know, he's got to play a superhero, right? Right? Um, <clears throat> and also, we, we keep in mind that uh, a certain, per a certain uh, studio head over at the House of Mouse does really like to like scoop up people, doesn't he? He likes to he likes to scoop them up. He likes to scoop up actors. So there's a rumor going on that <clears throat> Momo is in final talks with Marvel 
to finally join the MCU. Um, before I go any further, Lottie, is that uh, fact or cap? That is the if this is true, this is the biggest fumble that the this is, boy. Man, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> now we're not seeing they were the, thing at the end he, zone. Yeah, it doesn't mean that he can't be in DC. I'm just saying it's still a it's embarrassing. Isn't Aquaman is going to be an MCU character? That is embarrassing. That that's like Captain America being fucking Superman. That's like Superman being a Marvel character. Which is it's probably going to probably happen. going to happen. It's the the fumbling. I mean the I mean, you're at the end zone and you just it's this is it's not even that you're trying to score. You're literally about to run into the end zone and you just drop the ball at the one yard line. You celebrate it before you got there. It's just come on, man. What is <laughs> That's like I I remember there's there's a there's a uh, premature celebration <laughs> real the guy was he was like slide stepping you know trying to do the the prime time move and yeah. then got his shit stripped <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yeah man momoa that's again rumor so let's you know take this with a grain of uh, salt a huge grain of salt <clears throat> but i buy it because honestly aquaman is going away um momoa is a he's a you know he's a great you know he's a great actor he's definitely a great physical specimen and he could be you know a superhero elsewhere and one thing about being in the MCU you know you may not, you may do one movie every 3 or 4 years but you're not going to be fucking you know written out <laughs> right am i right like you if you're in the MCU as an actual hero you, you, you know, it's not going away because the MCU doesn't actually disappear. You know, we know for sure it's going to be around for at least another 10 years. So mm -hmm. that being said, I saw the speculation was that he would. They were talking about, oh, he might be Ben Grimm. To which I say, nay. I mean, it's OK, cool. Like, yeah, I guess he could be. Why would he? If I were him, I'd be like, I have no way in hell am I putting on, you know, any kind of prosthetics. <clears throat> and I'm not going to be buried under, you know, uh, a, you know, basically CG, a CG suit. Um, and also, that's just so boboring. Can I, can I be honest? That's boring to me. Like, Lottie, if, yeah. if you had Momoa to, to be an MCU hero or villain, just a character, what, who would they, who would you go with? Hmm. I got a. I mean, I already got one. I got Craven the Hunter, but he's oh, not man, in the MCU. Already, yeah, we already got a Craven, but no, I got I got one it, for you. It, who? Uh, Bishop. X Men. Mm. X Men Bishop. He. I mean. I will. He could be no. Could he? Maybe he's too tall. He's too tall. He's too tall. I'll get out of here. <laughs> No, no, I was about to say Wolverine. Now, I was going to say uh, maybe no, Wolverine. No, no, no Wolverine. No, no. Uh, I, I think he could he could definitely be Bishop. I mean, that would be, I mean, Bishop is, that's a dope character. Now, I know traditionally yeah. Bishop is, he's not, you know, Samoan or whatever like that. But, I mean, that's, that's to me, that's fine. <clears throat> um, among other things, I mean, that's just like, just off the dome. But I mean, he could, he could very much be like. There's all look. There's plenty of other characters uh, within there. I'm just saying, like, the it, it doesn't Ben Grimm. Like, come on, y'all, try harder. That's what I'm trying to say. Try harder than that. Everyone, everyone's trying so hard to get the the Fantastic Four fan casted. Like, let's re be reminded that the X Men are coming. You know, there are other people that that he could be. He could be forged too. That'd be, well, hell, you know what? That'd be a real change of pace for him because Forge isn't isn't traditionally kicking butts. Uh, he's making shit, you know. So anyway, uh, Lottie. So, it, but it's you you're all for this, right? If he does make, if he does come to the MCU, it's just man, I just can't get over the the, the bag fumble. I just <laughs> that's a legendary fumble, man. Kevin Feige over there scooping scoring. <laughs>
<laughs> he's just picking it, picking that and running back. It's just. The, I, I'm I'm, what, I'm stuck would, would on that, this. Would that be a fumble or would it be a, a pick six? What, what do you think? Are they throwing? Are they throwing him at it? <laughs> it's 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 one of those blatant. If it's a pick, it's, if it's a pick six, it's not like a pick six where they are trying to make a, a calculated move. It's one of those like wide open pick sixes where it's like, who the fuck was he throwing the ball to? <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of pick six it is. Just, the, the, where where the old line where the d uh what is it the defensive line the nose guard acts just like what I, I guess i got the ball you know it's just one of those where they where the, the the someone's just like i didn't expect to have the ball i guess i'm gonna run and the quarterback <laughs> and the quarterback is the last line of defense it gets like destroyed <laughs> they get it gets destroyed he's the last one to try to make the tackle uh, <laughs> all right i apologize to all you nerds out there that Missed everything we just said. Completely missed everything we said because we were talking about the sports ball. So, <laughs> anyway, is there any truth to this? We'll see. We'll let you guys know more uh, when we get for more information. So, Lottie, that is all of our news uh, for today. Uh, what did you guys think about what we had to say? Uh, did we miss anything? Uh, was there something you wanted us to talk about? Uh, did you agree or disagree with us? Let us know down in the comments section. And of course, you can always hit us up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or at supernotfunnys1 on Twitter. And while you're down there, do us a favor, hit the like button on this video and uh, hit the notification bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps with the algorithm so more people can see these videos. And of course, it helps to grow this channel. And we appreciate that. And of course, I can't do this by myself. Uh, I need Lottie's, uh, you know, expertise uh, on all things superhero uh, to help me. So, Lottie, what can they uh, do to reach you on social media? Oh, excuse me. You can always find me on my Instagram, which is Anukinihun. It's spelled A-N-U-K-I-N-I-H-U-N. Again, it's A-N-U-K-I-N-I-H-U-N. And, of course, you can also see me on my YouTube channel, which is Kinihun25. Live stream the other day. It was playing. It was having like a '90s, like, um, like a '90s, like flashback stream. We were playing like old games from the '90s that got remastered or HD'd, and just just having a blast from the past. So, hey, I you know I, I'm actually thinking, really thinking about doing that now. Like, I I have my GameCube, and I'm thinking about streaming just classic games. Just just taking a blast into the past guys so we can you know sometimes you know paying bills and taking care of your kids and you know just going to work could be tough you know catch you know catch one of my streams and it could take you back to when you were a kid when life was just so much easier <laughs> so, yes <laughs> that all you have to do is worry about you know cracking open a sunny d and uh sitting on the couch for hours on end yep <clears throat> Well, you guys go check Lottie, uh, Lottie's streams and his, uh, his channel, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff out. Show some love. All right, all you fabricated flesh bags. This has been uh, the Supercast, episode 85. Uh, come back next week. Got plenty more to talk about because, you know, the superhero train, it keeps on rolling in Hollywood. So uh, we'll uh, come back and talk about more things then. Until then, I've been Mode Poupe. Your resident fabricant and comic extraordinaire on all things pop culture, joined by the anime expert, video game designer, lover of all things superhero, my good friend Lottie. We'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace. Peace. <laughs>